G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this lesson, we are going to be taking a look at list columns versus site columns. And I've brought out my uh, whiteboard or my OneNote notebook here, and we're going to go through this um, on a notepad. G'day there everyone, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that the SharePoint Saturday edition of the newsletter is returning. So every single Saturday, direct to your inbox, a curated update from me, from the Microsoft 365 roadmap of everything you need to know about SharePoint, what's rolling out right now, and also what is in development. So if you're not already subscribed, head over to connect.danielanderson.io, pop your email address in, and you will start getting those SharePoint Saturday emails directly to your inbox. So list columns, let's start with list columns. All right, so I'm gonna draw this out. List columns uh, versus site columns. And what are the differences and why we would use one over the other, all right? So we've got site columns and list columns. Now, the first thing we want to know, uh, well, it's important to understand about list columns is that they are specific to a individual list. So let's put a cloud over here. We'll put an arrow. We'll go uh, specific to a single list. All right. So that means that they're not really reusable. So you've got a list in a SharePoint site and you create a column and you go to the list or the library, you hit add a column, and then that is what we call a list column. If we have another list in the same site, we can't reuse that column. It's specific to that list. Now, what does that mean? So that could potentially mean um, leads to uh, inconsistency of data, all right? Leads to inconsistent data, all right? So if we had a choice column, for example, we added a list column to a specific list or library, and then we go and add uh, or try and replicate that, there might be some data integrity issues around whether it's spelling or, or different terms or things like that. So that's a couple of points. Now, they're also managed individually. So we'll draw this down here. Um, managed uh, individually as well, all right? So again, because they're specific to a list, they're just done uh, individually. Now, if we move on to site columns, so we've got our SharePoint site uh, and we want to, uh, I guess, be a little bit more consistent in the way that we tag and classify and manage our documents. So first of all, site columns are reusable. All right, so we create a site column and we can reuse that in that single site uh, over and over again. So if we've got multiple lists, then we can uh, use that particular column in multiple different lists, okay? So that's a big tick for us. Now, the second thing is, is that they are centrally managed. So we can manage those centrally, and again, leading to better data integrity and consistency. And that leads me to the third point here, um, of consistency, all right? So remembering that we've got, uh, let's say we've got a category or a status or something like that, and we wanna make that um, the same and consistent across different libraries or different lists for that matter as well. That means that we would wanna use a site column. Now, if it is specific and we know that we are only going to use this in a uh, in a single list or a library, then that's where a list column could potentially uh, be the best option for you if you don't need to, to reuse that as well, all right? So there we go. List columns versus site columns. Hopefully that clears that up and gives you an idea of what to use when uh, and when you would use one over the other.